I'm Andrew Hodges. I'm a forensic psychiatrist and a forensic profiler. I have a new way of profiling called thought print decoding. I use the unconscious mind and read between the lines of interrogations or written documents. I have to have something verbatim from the mind of a suspect. And then uh, I can use the breakthrough which has occurred to the unconscious mind. A recent breakthrough we've learned the unconscious mind is brilliant, it's phenomenally honest, and you can't stop it from talking between the lines. So in criminal situations, uh, documents or interrogations, if you have a suspect you can listen and that person is going to tell you whether or not they were involved in the crime or not. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the Natalie Holloway case. Uh, I obtained a five-page email uh, not long after uh, I obtained a five-page five email from Deepak Kalpo written five days after the uh, disappearance of Natalie Holloway. Now, I should tell you that I have a background in forensic profiling. I've been involved in the O.J. Simpson case. I presented at the FBI my profiling approach on, in regard to O.J. Simpson's communications looking for guilt or innocence. I wrote two books on the John Bonet Ramsey case looking at the ransom note. I looked at BTK's communications immediately prior to his capture. I was indirectly involved in that case, uh, on the verge of being brought into that case, and uh, I predicted accurately that he was on the verge of killing again, different than any other profiler, using this method, trusting the unconscious mind. In the Holloway case, uh, I became involved because uh, uh, I coincidentally happened to be from the same neighborhood as Natalie Holloway in Birmingham, Alabama. My daughter went to the same high school years before. Uh, I had friends who had children on that trip, classmates of Natalie. Uh, so I became involved early in the case. I knew if I could obtain verbatim comments that I could be helpful. I did obtain eyewitness comments in this case from the first night Beth Twitty arrived from eyewitnesses, so I had an early profile. But within a couple of months, I obtained a five-page email that Deepak Kalpo wrote to an American grandmother named Betty, uh, and in it is the story of the crime. If indeed he was involved in this crime, he would tell us between the pages of this, between the lines of this email. Let me explain a bit about uh, more about thought print decoding. Just like we have finger uh, designs on the tips of our fingers. Uh, the unconscious mind presents thought print patterns I call uh, 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 thought prints which we can follow and trace just as we trace fingerprints. For example, there are ten different ways you can say someone has died. And we look at the thought prints uh, to see if uh, indeed we find such, uh, such communications. Now in the Deepak uh, Calpo email, he's going to do two things. He's going to do several things. He's going to take us through the crime. He's going to tell us what happened. The first thing he's going to tell us is she dead or alive. He's going to answer all the major questions. Who was involved? What happened? How did she die? What happened to her body and how to find it? Indeed, that's what he does. And we're going to look at the first part of this. Now, what we see is the first thing he does is tell us this is going to be the story of the crime in his email. He tells us such things as he's going to talk about the truth, the shocking truth, the news, the story. This is the story of, the, of his last night of Natalie Holloway. Again, we're reading between the lines. The first question we have, it's the same question everyone has, is she dead or alive? Uh, he tells us, through his patterns of thought prints, she's dead. How? He repeatedly gives us thoughts of death in different forms. She's missing, she left, she's away, she lost, it was the last night of her life, she fell down, she fell asleep, down, asleep, all of these are death images. He unconsciously is telling you, listen to me, she is gone. Uh, now, uh, we will pick up the remaining questions in the next segment. Uh, I hope you'll look at my website, forensicthoughtprints.com, if you want a further explanation of this method.